Hey guys, uh, welcome to your collective timeless love reading for the collective, okay? Uh, so this is basically meant for whenever you catch this, that's when it's meant for you. Uh, even though I give my readings a time frame, all, all my readings are timeless. So uh, we're going to take a look at your current uh, over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the uh, possible outcome and advice. And what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message couldn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates uh keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below all right so collective let's get started here Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. Over energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. Or whatever. I always do that. Messages for the collective in love. Over energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. We're going to do things a little differently. I'm going to juggle multiple decks here. Uh, uh, in this reading uh, because I want to see if you know if there's a pattern with numbers if there's multiple uh, similar energy standing out here okay that stands out seven of swords wow queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo two of pentacles you know, I feel like you're dealing with a situation here where you're just really unsure if you could trust this person. I, I feel like you're dealing with a person here that's untrustworthy, that could be juggling you here. All right, four of cups, whoever this is. I feel like you're dealing with a situation here where, yeah, you have every right, right not to trust this person. Uh, because I do feel like this person is juggling you because they, they sort of got bored easily, quickly. Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. True pair right here. This is a divinely guided soulmate connection here. You guys have a very strong soul tie with a Wheel of Fortune here and the Star. So, uh, you know, I feel like someone here is under the impression that things are going really, really well or that things are moving in the right direction. But I feel like you're starting to pick up like, ener like energy that something is up. Something is not right. Someone here is lying to someone. Okay? Someone here is juggling somebody here. And I feel like it's this queen that's doing that. This is interesting because I feel like, you know, I feel like this queen of pentacles promise this king of pentacles. Yeah, we're moving towards higher levels of commitment here. You know, we're going to be together. But it seems like this queen of, queen of Pentacles is trying to get away. This Queen of Pentacles is not quite ready for that. All right. Let's see. It seems like this queen might be scared of how, you know, how strong this connection is. We're going to use a separate deck to clarify. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? We have the death card. Scorpio energy. If this hasn't ended yet, this will end. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you're going to catch someone here in a lie. Okay? They're definitely trying to get away with something here. Okay? Um, Page of Pentacles. 
This is interesting. Uh, this is really interesting. I feel like this person might tell on themselves. This person might like send you a text message and tell you everything that they've been doing behind your back and what they've been lying about. Wow. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, two of Pentacles here and a Six of Swords. Wow. <clears throat> this is interesting. I'm getting another storyline here that this person decided just to just move away without even saying, you know, without even like telling this to your face, but they're going to tell you over a, a text message. Four of Cups, wow, we got a Seven of Swords two times here. Uh, there is lies and deception going on here between you and this person. Uh, this person's just not honest about, you know, what they've been doing. Tell me about the Four of Wands, the Hangman, Piscean Energy, King of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Seems like you really offered this person a lot of love, a lot of safety here. It could be a situation that this person could have, you know, taken something or, you know, was after something here and they got what they needed and then they left. Wow. It, it, it just seems like someone here is about to tell on themselves. Yeah. You know, one, one thing I'm getting here is that I feel like this queen, they meant to text her friend. Oh, I left the king of pentacles, you know, and, you know, I left them because of this and that and this and that. And then they accidentally send the text to you, you know. So um, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the person that Collective is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions? towards the collective for whenever what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards the collective what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards the collective strength leo energy the hierophant Taurus energy, the world, all major arcana so far, the four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and the magician Gemini Virgo. So what is this person's true feelings and intentions here? I'm not really quite sure what this person really wants. I mean, if they did, in fact, leave, let them leave so they could, they could figure it out. Because I'm a bit confused by this energy here. It's like, they're feeling this really strong bond here with you, okay? Uh, it's like they want to let you go, but then they don't want to let you go. But then they, and then the next moment, they sort of like have what it takes to make something work here. This is quite fascinating. The, the you know, remember I was saying that there could be someone else involved here. I don't think there is. I just feel like this person is just confused. Confused, lost. Trying to do some soul searching here, trying to find some answers, okay? But I, I yeah, I'm just kind of like a bit perplexed. It's like they feel this really strong connection here with you, but it's like they don't want it. They don't want it. They kind of want it. Um, the strength card, the three of cups. It's like I feel like this person just doesn't want anything serious, but then they feel like they do. I just feel like they just want to have a good time, party, have sex all the time, you know, have earth-shattering sex, 
Uh, but when it comes to commitment here, the star, you know, you know, right now I feel like this individual is really trying to like really figure themselves out. They're really kind of like connecting with the higher power here, the universe and the divine to sort of like seek answers. Because like I said, with the two of swords here, I just feel like this individual is really confused, very confused. The world. You got the Queen of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and a ton of Pentacles here. Ooh. I'm really confused. Yeah. It's like, let's just go with the flow. Let's have fun. Let's have earth shattering sex. Let's drink. Let's go out and party. You know, uh, let's not put a label on this. Let's let, like, you know, let, and, and deep down inside in this person's heart space, they do want commitment. Yeah, they do want commitment here. But I feel like this person is leaving because they can't handle how strong this connection that you guys have with each other. And I feel like it might, you know, maybe it just comes down to that, that this person's just scared. The Seven of Pentacles or that if this person does truly want a committed relationship, this person feels like it's too hard to make it happen. Yeah. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here. With the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Magician here. And the Seven of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords three times. Wow. This thing that you've been dealing with here, I don't think you guys have been together for a long time. Uh, take it as a blessing in disguise here because I feel like over time, uh, this could be a really toxic situation here. Just like the back and forth, uh, you know, getting whiplash. It's like, you know, you're telling me one thing and then you're doing another thing. You're tell uh, doing another one thing and then you're telling me something different. Uh, this person's all over the place here. This person is very manipulative too. Um, you know, I, I feel like this person can also kind of like, kind of like play kind of like the innocent child. Like, oh, you know, I didn't do anything. I'm so sorry, you know, uh, to sort of like, to get you off their back or something like that. I don't know, it's kind of demented, but um, it, it's like this person switches like to a different character. to kind of suit, the, it, to, for it to like, kind of like suit the situation in, in the moment that you guys are in. This is so weird too, because like sometimes like I feel like, I, I, what I'm also getting like when you guys are intimate, I feel like this person also could kind of like break out into like a little child's character or something like that. Yeah, it's really bizarre and weird. All right. So I, I feel like he dodged a major bullet here. I'm going to title this video that this, I, I feel like this person's going to tell on themselves. Like I said, it's like, I feel like this, like I said, this person's going to, you know, text their friend. You know, everything that they did, you know, what they did to like get away from you. And then, you know, they, they accidentally send it to you. Okay. So, um, let's pull another deck here. Um, tell me about the outcome and advice here for co the collective regarding their love situation. What else does the collective need to know, look out for, and work, uh, work on here? Outcome and advice here regarding this love situation here for the collective. Five of Swords and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. I, I feel like in a way it's kind of like control. It's all about control here. So I feel like the, this person that you're dealing with is trying to control you. I mean, feel free to switch the roles off uh, all you want. Maybe you're doing all this and trying to control this whole situation here. And, you know, and, and the other person is, you know, kind of like, oh, I thought everything was really going, you know, going well. Um, so the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Queen of Wands and the Empress. The Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy here. That's so interesting. We have the Tower on the bottom of that deck here. This, this person feeling lost. I do feel like this person's going to have a major spiritual awakening where they're going to level up. 
yeah i feel like this person is going to find their way um so let them go off and do their own thing and find their way yeah uh the empress libra taurus aries scorpio with the tower here the high priestess and the two of cups cancer pisces here So it seems like through this process here, this feminine energy is going to wise up. This feminine energy is going to level up here to an empress, okay? So, you know, if this person did in fact just randomly up and left one day and then, you know, didn't want to say anything, but you, you get accident, accidentally, they send you a message, just let them. Yeah, just let them. You know, I feel like you know, this is so interesting because I feel like you sacrificed a, a lot of yourself for this individual here. Um, and maybe you saw the red flags and I feel like you try to ignore it and hoping it's in, and, and, you know, you gave this person the benefit of the benefit of the doubt, but it, it just could have been the situation that there was something off here. Five of swords, six of wands. The uh, Chariot and the Fool, Aries energy here. Six of Wands and the Fool. There is an energy of healing here. Yeah. So I feel like this person is trying to heal their inner child. I feel like they're also trying to, what's happening here moving forward is trying to, they're, their ego is getting checked here. Uh, it's getting checked by the divine, the universe here, or, or a higher power. Yeah, um, yeah, or a deity. Uh, we have the Empress and the Nine of Swords, the uh, Tower, and the Knight of Swords here. This person's energy is really kind of confusing. It's quite interesting, quite fascinating. You know, I feel like this feminine energy has been very used to a certain way. And this change is something that they're not going to handle really well, but it's happening. Yeah, this is interesting because I feel like the universe is showing this person a, a greater purpose in their life here. Uh, this is interesting because I feel like this person might not see that, might not see that greater purpose, you know, you know what their greater purpose is. And I feel like the universe is trying to show this person here. The High Priestess and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Two of Cups and the Three of Wands. One of the things I'm really getting here is that this can be a very, very spiritual connection. And I feel like down the line in the future, this can come together again. Come back together again. That's if you want it, Collective. Yeah, that's if you want it. But it, it just seems like this reading is all about your person, what they're going through, okay? Yeah, it just seems like this person's kind of like stuck or they, they have been emotionally stunted uh, due to maybe the trauma that they've been through here because I feel like this person's always in fight or flight response. Yeah, I just feel like this person has been abandoned a lot in the past here. It could be a situation that, you know, maybe this person was adopted. Maybe this person was given up at birth here. Um, it's sort of like at any time good happens in their life, you know, where, you know, something good happens, this person just runs off. Yeah. And they're just not used to it. So I feel like there, there's a lot of growth and expansion for this individual. Yeah, through this experience by meeting you. Yeah. So, um, Collective, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.